Radiant Church, Pastor Sean here, and I am super excited to tell you about our upcoming fall series called Red Hot. Now, this is a time where you can ask your hot burning questions to Pastor Lee. He won't see these questions ahead of time and you'll get the immediate unfiltered responses for him. We're super excited. It's coming up soon. To kind of give you an idea of what this is going to look like, I'm going to be asking Pastor Caleb Culver questions for the first time, but to make it a little different, we're going to be eating spicy chicken wings while doing it. So the hotter the question, the hotter the wing. Let's get started. Pastor Caleb, I'm excited for you to be here with us today. Uh, I'm going to start my workout, my Fitbit, <laughs> so I can see how high my heart rate gets up to on this. I know, there's a little bit of a, I, while they're preparing the wings, it was like in the atmosphere, and I think both of us were losing our mind coughing earlier. Um, I got to ask though, how are you around spicy food? I normally am pretty good, but I've been getting weaker over time. Like in my 20s, I could eat some super hot food and now I get a little bit more sensitive. Right. So, Well, you know, it rain, there's a bit of a range here, so we'll see how we work up to it, but we're ready to do this. So start with the first swing. I'll follow you. However much you eat, I'll eat. Oh, you're going, going for the, the disconnect first, eh? Yep. You got to eat the flat entirely. Oh, wow. Okay. This one's nice. Has yep. a little, That's pretty normal spice level. A little maple to it. I normally get wings about that hot. Yep. So many people may not know this about you. I've known you for a, a very long time. Um, uh, you have a habit of eating food off of other people's plates, sometimes not even knowing it. Can you remember <laughs> a moment or a story where that might have created a difficult situation for you or like an awkward moment? What would be a good awkward scenario. I mean, I've I've asked for someone's remaining food at a restaurant before. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, this one's just a little bit of a jump. Everyone eat all their flats? Uh, well, you know, some more than others. Yeah. So, Caleb, as someone who prides himself as a die-hard Bills fan, oh. even naming your Former dog after former wide receiver Stefan Diggs. I mean, which like, we traded Stefan Diggs, so I had to trade my dog. Yes, out. exactly. Yeah. So sorry, babe. What do you th <laughs> what do you think is we'll just say the most one of the most important factors that helped the Bills become perennial winners from being perennial losers? I mean, the biggest factor right now. Uh, I mean, just the quarterback Josh Allen. I mean, you have a great quarterback, you're going to compete and they have a once in a generation talent in Josh Allen. Feel good. So you feel good hopeful. about our Super Bowl yeah. chances. Feeling hopeful. All right, how you doing? Doing good. Yep. Feeling good, I haven't even touched my, my liquids yet. Yep, we got milk water over there. I will say these next two, they have a little bit of a jump. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, still clean up. Wow. Woo! I have not had anything that hot in a while. So, when compared to early church hymns, what is something that you see in modern worship songs that they're lacking, and how has it maybe affected worship? Yeah, that's a good question. I am in pain. <laughs> Uh, um, I think I think a lot of modern worship is doing well now. I mean, there's been lots of pendulum swings. What we saw in like the 80s was, you know, 70s, 80s, a lot of like choruses that came out, like simple choruses. I am crying because of how emotional I am about this conversation. See, this is really moving you right now. Not because of the wing that is really damaging me. <laughs> Coming up on the last wing, and I'm about, about to round out the gauntlet here. So we have a tradition here so far. This is the last wing. We put one last dab okay. on the last wing. And so you don't have to if you want to, but I, oh. oh. <laughs> That's a big boy dab. You don't have to if you don't want to, but everyone has so far. Okay. <sighs> Cheers to you, my friend. You going, to, you going for the splitsies? Yeah. Wow. The burning is just traveling through 
my sinuses. <coughs> Somehow yeah. to my ear canal. So Caleb, right now, as it's in your eyes, in wow. your ears, your brain's on fire. Final Ooh. question. Can you nail the dismount? Can you name all 66 books of the Bible in order? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> How far do you think you can get? <laughs> Not very far. I'm so bad at sequentially, like, hitting anything in specific order. I I think it would be bad. I mean, I'm happy to try. Let's try. If you Genesis. Can't, okay, you made it so far. I'm gonna have to like visualize it. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. I'm gonna say, uh, I think it's, is it Kings and then Chronicles? I'll say first and second Chronicles? Am I wrong? Oh, I'm just listening. <laughs> first and second Kings. <laughs> I'm gonna just assume I got one of those wrong in there. <laughs> you did great, man. It was awesome having you here. We are excited for Red Hot coming up soon. Oh, chicken wing in my throat. Please come and join us. Ask your questions. We'll see you soon.